um, prayers for our trip to Hungary this past week, Pastor Barry and myself. And thanks for your your support, your prayers, and your care. The Spirit working, the Spirit is willing, the Spirit is in us, Spirit of God, amazing ministry of God's life to us. We travel today to the pastor's retreat and look forward to it to be with a lot of men, 150 or something, a lot of men who, who we all look for the Spirit to minister to us and encourage us. Amazing. I want to draw your attention to Revelation chapter 1. And this is um, loaded with words of importance to us. I'll just read them and make a short comment. Verse 4, John, to the seven churches which are in Asia. That's a part of Turkey. Um, Grace be unto you and peace from him which is, which was, and is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, number one, faithful witness, first begotten of the dead, number two, prince of the kings of the earth, number three, unto him that loved us, number four, washed us from our sins in his own blood, number five, and made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. Number six, he did this for us. He did this for us. Well, this is a world that we know so little about. This is a huge, cat, you know, earth-shaking reality that this Christ, wow, he is a faithful witness. He tells the truth. And he is the first begotten from the dead. He is the first man raised in the transform in the in the transformation. There were other men raised from the dead to only die again. But this man was raised never to die again. He's the first one. He is the prince of the kings of the earth. He loved us. He loved us. He loved us unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. And he made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. Made us kings and priests. Seems those two words are very important. He made us kings, having authority, our original purpose made by God to rule the earth, to have authority with God and to him that loved us. He made us kings and priests unto God, to minister to God. Yes, what an amazing privilege this is. Um, Behold, he comes with the clouds, verse 7, every eye shall see him. Behold, he comes to the cause, every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. That's a very amazing thing. Even the people of the past will see him. Even those that pierced him, they will realize that this is the Christ. They will realize how shocking that is, that the ones that crucified him, are the, they will also see his victory. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. This is even so. Reality is reality. Then verse 8, I am Alpha and Omega. This is repeated a few times in this chapter. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I was alive and I'm alive. I was dead and now I'm alive forevermore. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. So we have the reality. I, I am just drawing your attention to the, the nature of this chapter, the profound nature of it, the, the ultimate victory in life, the reality 
of, of Christ overcoming death and sin and saving us and making us a unique people. Uh, this chapter, if you read it a few times prayerfully, think about it, and let your, your heart and your mind expand in the sense of, well, we are, we are of the earth, we gravitate to the dirt, but this chapter is saying we have been highly exalted by Christ, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning of the Greek alphabet and the end, the Alpha letter and the Omega letter. And he is what it's all about. And we have not yet seen what this is, but we will, we will um, be like him. We will realize it. We will have the Bible speaking to us many levels of it, multi-dimensional in the sense of depth of understanding. And we will be just absolutely, incredibly in awe over the reality of who he is and what God has done for us. It's amazing. So that's it. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the thought today from Revelation chapter 1. Speak to our hearts. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Bless our pastor's retreat with your love and your wisdom and your way and your word and your people. Thank you, Lord. Give us a great time. In Jesus' name, help us in the ministry that you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen.